Hi, Mr. Corsi here. This diagram shows us the graph of y equals log to the base 3 of x. And we're asked in the diagram in our answer booklet to sketch the curve with equation y equals 1 minus log to the base 3 of x. Now you turn to the answer booklet, you'll see exactly the same picture. So I'm going to answer this part A on this diagram. Let's do it in two stages. We're shown the graph y equals log to the base 3 of x. Let's first of all have a look at the graph y equals negative log to the base 3 of x. Now what this does is, where I had a height of say 1 on this graph, that will now become a height of negative 1. All the y coordinates have changed sign. So a height of 1 will be down here at a height of negative 1. It won't affect this point. This height is 0. Negative 0 is still 0. But a height down here which is negative will become positive up here. In other words, this graph will be flipped in the x-axis and this is what we get, that grey graph that I've put up here. All the heights in the original graph have been flipped in the x-axis. So that's the graph y equals negative log to the base 3 of x. Well, what's the relationship between this grey graph and the graph that we're after, which is y equals 1 minus log to the base 3 of x? Well, if we add 1 to negative log to the base 3 of x, we get the log, the, the graph that we're asked for. So we have to add 1 to all the heights on this grey graph. In other words, all the y-coordinates on this grey graph have to move up. All the points in this grey graph have to move up 1 unit. Now we can determine where 1 unit is in a slide up because if we go from the x-axis up to 3, 1, we've moved up one unit. So this point that corresponded to 3, 1 on the grey graph moves up to the x-axis. So let's do that now. And we now have the graph of 1 minus log to the base 3 of x. So let's put that in. y equals 1 minus log to the base 3 of x. So that's certainly the curve that uh, we've been asked for. So let's have a look at part b now of this question. And in this part we're asked to determine the exact value of the x-coordinate of the point of intersection of these two curves. So we're going to have to look at the curve y equals log to the base 3 of x, also the curve y equals 1 minus log to the base 3 of x, and these two formulae have to work together. We're solving them simultaneously to find the coordinate, the x coordinate of this point. So this must be true, and it must be equal to this. So log to the base 3 of x must be equal to log 1 minus log to the base 3 of x. So we're solving this equation. Let's add log to the base 3 of x to both sides. So we'll get two of them on the left, and this one will disappear. Divide both sides by 2. And here we have log to the base 3 of x equals a half. Now this is a log statement, and all log statements can be uh, written as power statements. For instance, log to the base 10 of 100 is 2. Why? Because 100 is 10 squared. So just in the same way, x will be 3 to the power of half. And 3 to the power of half, we know, is the square root of 3. 
So there we have the exact value of the x-coordinate the point of intersection of the two car curves. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and thanks for watching this video.